Hello and welcome back to our Bible story time. I'm so glad that you can join us. We're using the Lectionary Story Bible by Ralph Milton. And we're so grateful that Ralph has given his permission for his stories to be used. Today, we're reading a story called Peter Walks on the Water, and it's based on Matthew 14, verses 22 to 33. Jesus was very tired. People came to Jesus the whole day. Some wanted to hear stories about God's shalom. Others were sick and hoped that Jesus would help them, help them feel better. At the end of the day, Jesus said to his friends, his disciples, you take the boat and go to the other side of the lake. I want to go up into the hills for a little while. I need some time to rest. I need to talk to God. So the disciples started to row across the lake, but a big storm began to blow. A strong wind blew through the waves. The waves bounced the boat up and down and splashed water into the boat. We're going to drown, yelled Andrew. All night long, the storm kept blowing harder and harder. The waves got bigger and bigger. The disciples were shivering because they were afraid. And then, when it was almost morning, Andrew saw something that looked like a person walking across the water. It's a ghost, screamed Andrew. The other disciples made strange, fearful noises. Slowly, the person came closer and closer. Then they saw that it was a man. And as the man came even closer, Andrew knew who it was. It's Jesus, he yelled. It's all right, called Jesus. It's me. Don't be afraid. But, but, Peter could hardly talk. Jesus, you're, you're, you're walking on the water. Jesus just nodded and smiled. Could I walk on the water too? asked Peter. Jesus reached out his hand. Come, Peter, he said. So Peter stepped out of the boat. He was looking right at Jesus, and that made him feel strong. And sure enough, he could walk on the water just like Jesus. But Peter didn't look at the waves, and he didn't worry about the wind. Peter kept his eyes on Jesus step by step. Peter was not afraid. Then suddenly, Peter noticed the big waves. Right away, he felt afraid. He began to sink into the water. Help me, Jesus, he cried. Jesus reached out his hand to Peter. Peter grabbed Jesus' hand and right away he felt strong again. Let's get into the boat, said Jesus. And as Peter climbed in, he noticed that the storm was over. The wind and the waves had stopped. The water was calm. Jesus' friends just sat there in the boat. They didn't know what to say. Andrew wondered if maybe it had all been a bad dream. Peter looked right at Jesus. You really are God's chosen one, aren't you, Jesus? Now, I don't suggest that you all go up to the closest lake and start trying to walk on the water, because I don't think that's going to work very well for you. But when we trust in Jesus, we have strength to do all sorts of things that we never thought were possible. I'm so glad that you joined us for our story time today, and I look forward to having you join us tomorrow.